Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're looking at the new Divi 4.0 theme builder and how to make your headers sticky or fixed. So by default, when you add a new header in the theme builder, it's not going to be either fixed or sticky which means that as you scroll the page down your header that you added is just going to scroll off the top of the page with the content so if you want to have a fixed header like this or a sticky header like this you'll need to add a little bit of extra code to make it happen so these are both headers that have been added as templates here so you generally you're going to just have a global header here that is your default website template i just added a second template here and applied it only to the about page just to show you the fixed header so this fixed one would only be on this specific page or any other one that you decide to assign it to. This one is global and would go everywhere on your website. So when you update to Divi 4.0, you're gonna get this new theme builder tab here, which is this page. And this is where you build all of your templates. You know, you don't have to use this tool. If your site's already there and you're happy with it, it's not going to change anything unless you come in here and build a header and assign it to your website or areas of it so for the fixed one all you need to do this is here all you need to do is when you build your template you just need to go into the settings for the section under advanced and custom CSS and add this here. So position fixed, width 100%, top 0 and Z index 999. You can add the Z index in here if you want, but either or. So that is going to make this entire section and everything you put in it fixed to the top of the screen so here we just have a menu module <coughs> and a social follow module and that <coughs> builds uh, this <coughs> excuse me that builds this menu here which is fixed to the top of the screen so just going to discard that. So for the global header, which is this one, we're going to need to add some extra code. So basically, this is two sections. The top one is has these blurbs and it goes off the screen with the content. The second one is this, the same menu as in the other, but it's going to be fixed when we scroll up so in the theme builder this is what it looks like so you've got two sections these are just blurbs and in the second section that you want to be sticky we need to add my header as the css id and that's going to make this section sticky with the code so you can see we have a third section under here which has a code module in and in the code module we have this script which came from w3 schools and it's just been edited a little bit so basically it's saying when we scroll 150 pixels from the top, we want to change my header to have a, the CSS position fixed. Otherwise, 
we have position nothing. So that's all it takes. So the code modules in here, you can't see it. And that will make this section or any section that you put the CSS ID in fixed. So there. So if you end up having more content in here, so this is even higher, you're going to want to edit that 150. So basically what it's saying that the menu will be fixed. See, so this is, so 150 is actually too high for this because before I had eight blurbs on the top. So now you can see as it hits 150, it becomes fixed to zero. So, I mean, it, it looks okay, but so for this particular example with this amount of content, you would probably want to change this to 100 and exit, save. Save your changes. And now you should see, so yeah, so it sticks just as the top section goes off the screen. A little bit, so yeah, a little bit after, so you could, I mean, it actually looks all right, but if you want it exactly, then you need to put the exact pixel width of this. So I will export these Divi Builder templates so you can import them onto your own site and load up either this fixed header or this sticky header.